In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to turn off auto update for Adobe Acrobat Pro DC on a Mac. If you're like many users who prefer to have full control over when and how updates are installed, then this tutorial is perfect for you. We'll be walking through a few simple steps to accomplish this, ensuring that your software doesn't update automatically without your knowledge. First, let's make sure you have Adobe Acrobat Pro DC open on your Mac. Once the application is up and running, direct your attention to the top left corner of the interface. Here you'll notice what's commonly referred to as the hamburger menu. It's those three little horizontal lines that have become a staple navigation element in many apps. Go ahead and click on it. This menu is your gateway to a variety of settings and options within Adobe Acrobat, allowing you to customize and optimize your user experience. Once the menu is open, look for the preferences option. Clicking on preferences will open a new window for you. This window is where you can adjust various settings according to your needs and usage patterns. It's a really useful place to get familiar with if you want to make your Adobe Acrobat experience more tailored to what you need. Now that you're in the preferences window, you'll want to locate the category labeled Updata. Navigating to the Updata category is key to managing how and when your software updates occur. The Updata section allows you to set your preferences for software updates giving you the autonomy to decide how often these updates should happen. Inside the Updata section, you'll notice a checkbox option that is labeled Automatically Install Updates. This feature is useful for those who prefer convenience, but if you want to take control of the update schedule, you'll need to uncheck this box. By unchecking this option, you're essentially telling the software that you prefer to manually review and install updates at your convenience. Doing so can help prevent unexpected changes to the software that could potentially disrupt your workflow. After you've made the change, your final step is to click on the OK button to save these new settings. Saving changes is always a crucial step to ensure that all adjustments are kept and implemented in the software. And that's it, you're done. Turning off auto update is a straightforward process that can save you time and give you more control over your software environment. With these steps, you can decide when and how updates should happen, ensuring that your system remains stable and under your control. Thank you for watching, and I hope this guide was helpful for you.